Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Monday July the 27th. Well the change of trend today in the first time frame, we now have a higher high and a higher low which means that uh, the market is in a new first time frame uptrend. If we look at the candles here, the previous uh, candle from uh, three days ago established a downtrend with a lower high and a lower low. Then we had an outside day and an inside day which couldn't change the trend and now we have a day with a higher high and a higher low which means we have a new first time frame uptrend. Uh, the only trouble is that that's on a very very indecisive candle. It's a spinning top candle with a very long shadow on the top and the bottom which means indecision. So it's a, a battle between the bulls and the bears and uh, neither side is in the ascendancy which is what we'd expect while the market's trading within this uh, resistance zone. Now, as I highlighted previously, the interesting thing is that we don't have any major downside um, price rejection from this zone. And I think that's very important for this market, that this market has not sold off. And if we look at the previous times when we traded up within this very large zone of resistance here, the market sold off strongly, sold off strongly, sold off strongly, and sold off strongly. This time, we haven't had that very strong sell-off, and the market is still trading in within that zone. The trouble is, though, the market's congesting, and that's evidenced by the uh, Kijun Sen going uh, sideways here, with the uh, just pointing up slightly over the last day or so, uh, with a very shallow angle, and that reflects this um, congestion that the market's in at the moment. So, even though we're not trading off significantly, we're not really trending up in a solid manner either. Now, the problem is that if we do uh, trend up, then we have this large zone of price rejection up above here as well where the market sold off from here from around 147 and sold off substantially with a very very large price rejection so we need to trade up through the 143.61 area before this market can trade up to around uh, around these levels and uh, that area there or 143.37 roughly is uh, where the previous uh, swing high of this major second time frame uptrend was so we need to trade up through there for the market to uh, start trading up within the next zone of resistance. So uh, an indecisive candle. Um, when we see candles like this, we don't want to be bullish or bearish. So in this time frame, this market is very, very indecisive. It's not really a, a market to, uh, to be trading. Uh, if the market does come off, we should look for support at the uh, Tenkan Sen, which is at 141.30. 141.305 and then down at the uh, Kijun Sen which is at 140.61 uh, so there are two support levels and then failing that if uh, they fail to hold then we've got the top of the cloud which is at around 139 something so um, but I don't think we'll be trading down around there uh, we should look to support at the uh, Tenkan Sen first but uh, that's within that zone of resistance too so uh, an important level and then at the Kijun Sen mm -hmm.